Hello everyone and welcome to our special winter episode of PyTorch Update. We've put links to everything we discuss in this video in the description, so let's get going. First up, let's look at the developer resources from Intel and the PyTorch Foundation. PyTorch benefits from substantial optimizations provided by Intel for x86, including accelerating PyTorch using Intel One API Deep Neural Network Library, optimizations for A10 operators, Bfloat 16, and auto mixed precision support. Intel appreciates collaborating with colleagues at Meta and other contributors from the open source community. The developer resources page provides access to documentation to help you get started, provides training and tutorials to help you sharpen your skills, you'll get links to GitHub repos, and you'll get product support for PyTorch, Intel optimized AI frameworks, and Intel extension of PyTorch. Visit the site to learn more. Next up, let's take a look at the technical article, How to Build an Interactive Chat Generation Model Using Dilo GPT and PyTorch. This article showcases a code sample on how to create interactive chats based on a pre-trained Dilo GPT model from Hugging Face with the addition of the Intel extension for PyTorch to perform dynamic quantization on the model. The article goes in depth on Dilo GPT architecture, quantization using Intel extension for PyTorch. It shares a code sample and provides next steps for you to explore. The article also encourages you to check out and incorporate Intel's other artificial intelligence and machine learning framework optimizations and end-to-end -end portfolio of tools into your AI workflow. Moving on, let's take a look at the article Int8 Quantization for x86 CPU in PyTorch. Int8 quantization is a powerful technique for speeding up deep learning inference on x86 CPU platforms. By reducing the precision of the model's weights and activations from floating point 32 to Int8, Int8 quantization can significantly improve the inference speed and reduce memory requirements without sacrificing accuracy. In the blog, you'll learn about the recent progress on Int8 quantization for x86 CPU in PyTorch, focusing on the new x86 quantization backend. We'll also briefly look at the new quantization path with PyTorch 2.0 export that is currently in development and is expected to provide even more possibilities in the future. Our next topic, Seismic Data to Subsurface Models with OpenFWI, provides an example of offshore seismic exploration and examines how obtaining an accurate picture of the subsurface is not as simple as snapping a picture on a smartphone. Seismic exploration is a key component in creating images of the subsurface and finding essential minerals, oil, and gas. Building images of the subsurface is akin to the ultrasound technology used to image the human body. The article goes on to provide a detailed introduction to the data with links to tutorials and code. By reading the article, you'll learn about training the model, how to sample predictions from the trained model, and you'll learn about some of the limitations that you'll encounter in realistic geological environments. Read the article, check out all of the related resources and some of the other AI and machine learning optimizations that you can incorporate into your AI workflow. Our final topic for today is the blog PyTorch 2.1 contains new performance features for AI developers. This blog discusses the five features for which Intel made significant contributions to PyTorch 2.1. Torch inductor CPU optimizations, including Bfloat 16 inference path for torch.compile, CPU dynamic shape inference path for torch.compile, C++ wrapper, flash attention based scaled dot product algorithm for CPU, PyTorch 2 export post training quantization with an x86 backend through an inductor, Read the blog to get details about each of these five features and try out PyTorch 2.1 to realize the performance benefits for yourself. Thanks for watching and remember to follow the links in the description to get more information about everything in this video and to get access to resources, tools, training, and much more. Remember to like and share this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.